Hey guys, Brenny here and welcome to Simberbia. We are up to episode 3 and I'm actually at the tax area. I just put it on turtle speed. We, I, I want to do this all in a row so you guys see every part of it so I didn't really do anything in between. Uh, but I want to see what this is. A tax levy token reduces your a plot land value by 1. Oh, that does not seem worth it, especially for only 7k. Um, oh, but it does do something to other plots. I, I'm sure I like read that or heard that, uh, but yeah. And then this one, I'm pretty sure, just gives us 100k, or it costs 100k to get plus one? I might actually try this one out. We'll give this one a shot. Government grants. So it might plus one up, and then we might be able to get a, like, higher number. So I suppose we'll just try it in this one right ahead of us, which is... Where's the... Alright, this is the little town area. What, what, what do we need more of, actually? Uh, we need more commercial, so we will chuck it in the commercial area, which is here. Is this the co I'm so confused what's the commercial area, because I'm, like, all confused with location. See, that's not commercial. Commercial's over here. I thought so. I'm just... And then it goes up and to the left, but this appears to... There's only demolish. Do we put it in the demolish area? Plot modifier. Yeah, yeah. Citizens are rejoicing. Um... Yeah, see, I just ramped it up a level, I think, because it's only got two touching it, so it should be a two. That is cool, guys. I did not know we could do that. I would be happy to spend money like that uh, more frequently, because, like, right now we're running out of space, and we do need more uh, commercial area, so that's pretty cool. We'll buy a park, and we'll put it here. Uh, where were we going to put the power plant? I think we're going to put it here. Yeah, and it will reach the most area, and then we'll put... I would like to make a layout that's best for the power plant. So let's think. There'll be one, two, three here. So I'm putting my hand on the screen right now. One, two, three, four. So the, this one here should be the very center of the map. So if I have a power plant there, it should reach to there, I believe, maybe? What? It goes two out, I think and then two down so it should reach there and then i kind of thought that if i put like a power plant there cookie monster whispers whispers to you cookie that was a bit weird i think uh actually a villager stepped on that and then if i put one there and one there we should be set for the whole game no matter what disasters but then again that does seem that we'll need four power plants so i don't know how well of an idea that is uh let's go check what day it is though how much money do we have? We have 100k, so I did kind of just... How much are the... Oh, no, I need way more for a power plant. Um, we're making 235k per month, so I think I will buy that park. And we will put the park here, was it? Yeah, right next to the power plant, because we don't want the power plant touching the park. I'm always... um. Once there's a few more plots going on, I'm actually finding myself getting a bit more confused, but... I didn't really go through these very well in my first episode, so if you still are watching and haven't played, basically uh, you put the things you're purchasing in the dispensers, and this is the bulldoze slash modify one. If it's got a redstone lamp, it's powered. Uh, well, if the redstone lamp's powered. If there is the lamp isn't powered, it means I believe it was once powered and isn't anymore. Um, and that's what happens when, like, uh, the power plants go abandoned. But I must say, I've been having a decently lucky gameplay experience. Um, alright, so what we're gonna do is, that is a power plant there, I'm pretty sure. So if we put a park there, and then commer- no, wait. Commercial and commercial there, we should be pretty good with that. Why is it only saying I own three commercial, though? I do own- Four, don't I? Maybe that will update. Oh, I think I built that one, yeah, recently, so it hasn't been a month. Alright, so park there, commercial, commercial. Our commercial area will be good. Power plant there. Uh, even though I'm gonna have to push the power plant up to it. Oh, the uh, maker of the map, G Jigger, I cannot say his name, so I'm not gonna try to say it because I don't fully remember it either. I don't know why I teleported here to do that. Um, commercial. Whoa! Where's my money? What? How much does a park cost? 30? Oh, alright, so I'm close, I just don't have enough. Alright, let's put our speed on Cheetah until the new month. But yeah, he commented on my video that I have, he's, uh, I am one of the most progressed people in such a, like, early stage that he's seen on YouTube, obviously, because I'm sure there's people that have progressed further at a quicker pace. 
Um, alright, I want to place this before it does become the new day, but that just happened, so you know. Oh, wow! Bus project unlocked, custom monument project unlocked. Oh, which is, uh, where is it? How do I teleport back? I don't know why I'm teleporting there, really. There's not too much... Re oh, the speed. Alright, so this one's where you build the custom one, which I really want to put a lot of effort into, so we'll do that, uh... Oh, and you can modify it, and it costs 100k. Alright, I get that. Um, and this is the bus one, which... I do like the idea of, um, we need 600 population, so what's our population? 720, and it costs 400k, so that's a bit expensive. Uh, we do want to use our money on a power plant right now, so let's go and buy a power plant. And there we go. I really feel like I could do better power plant positioning. Uh, I want, I want to like study power plant positioning, because one, two, that one will get there. If I put one there, one, two, it will get there. And there we go, we have the whole map covered, I think. Wait, wait, one there, and that will... Yeah, it even has overlap, and I feel like that's such a smart way to do it. I really do want to do it that way. Should I think I'm going to commit. Uh, commit? Commit? I, <laughs> I think I'm going to do it, uh, and just take the hit, you know, of having the power plant. Uh, now that I know we can, bu like, buff things, it's not as much as a con uh, of a concern for me. So let's put the power plant there. I'm sure some of you are going to hate that, but... This should probably be a park here, and we'll put the next residential area, since we would have, un yeah, we did unlock a bit more map, so we'll put the next, uh, parking, wait, parking zoning, oh, does this give me a different thing, so like, this should be a car park, or oh, wait, wait, is that a park, no, oh, I did buy a park, didn't I, damn, I was meant to buy a, um, commercial area and put it there, oh, that was stupid on me, I kind of want to bulldoze that. I feel like I will, because, um... Oh, I ramped that one up to four, though. You know, so it doesn't seem like... I think what we'll do is we'll just play it smart and not do that for now. But what I think my map will end up looking like is power plant there. Power plant... Was it on this one? That was the center? Yeah, I think it was. Um, power plants in the corners, like I mentioned. Uh, industrial areas around the outside. And then on the inside, we'll have an even split between commercial and industry. Uh, I think that'll be a cool plan. Commercial. I do not have money. I keep spending my money so quickly. So I might as well keep those buffs. Um, we did get the power plan, which I'm pretty happy about. All right, let's go and go look through the city a bit more. I feel like there's a few things I'm missing still. Um, oh, and I want to do a lot more challenges because I've, I've been reading the comments, but like I've also been watching like other people play this. So it's like I can't remember what was comments and what other people have done. So I'm going to try not... Oh, a button! Is this the pigeon? Candy factory storage. This key goes in a chest in a candy factory of some sort. Alright, that's... So that's, that's a fun item. I like that. Uh, this seems to be like a rooftop, like, pool, which is awesome. Oh! Oh, the... Uh, n not that I'm, like, kissing the owner's ass, even though he's amazing. Um, <laughs> I... Oh. What is this? Clock. Fun fact. The sun moves each day. It, Single day Simburbia lasts a whole month. Um, you can tell what day it is the sun rises on the first of the month. Alright, so if I wanted a clock, I could get a clock from here. But I don't really feel like... Take your time, I like that. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the maker guy... J Jibber... <laughs> forgetting... Like, fully got forgot it now too, which is horrible. I really want to get these uh, speed shoes. I feel like they will come in handy, but... You know, I don't want to spend 500k. I also want to get the bus area because that will come in handy. And I actually think that's cheaper than 500k. But yeah, the owner guy, because uh, I think I am a bit over the place with these episodes. You know, I'm just, I've got so much to speak about and so much on my mind. But yeah, he uh, liked that I went around the thing in my thumbnail. And it was just nice to receive a compliment on the thumbnail I made for his game, you know. A plus, you guys know I love it. You guys, I, I won't shut up about it. You can't stop me. All right, um... So, these are these. Let's see if I've unlocked one down here. And then we'll... Oh! What's this? A ant colony? Ants! Oh! See, I'm trying to... Uh, wait. Is Alright, I don't know what that's actually going to give me. Um, yeah, let's just push this. Fun time potion? I think it's a speed potion. So, it might be good to drink that, you know? Um, was that Netflix? I love Netflix. Uh, let's just continue looking around. I know it's a bit boring to look around, but if we collect all the stuff and then, um, oh, a banner. All right. 
join us. Oh, oh, I swear I got some. Oh, oh, I feel like if I stand there, I'll get. What's this one? Oh, I got bread. I'm, I'm going to keep all of this stuff. So let's go. Let's go and put it in our city dump because. Oh, does that. Wait. If I use a. Oh, no. So there doesn't seem to be an edit option. I thought maybe if I put a tax grant with the city dump, it could be upgraded. I really feel like um, it can't be upgraded, but I'm not quite sure. All right. So let's put that there because it's, you know, hmm. that's just a flower. That's something we may need. That's a, we might need the sign. Uh, flowers, flowers, ants, breads, custom name, clock. We'll, we'll keep the clock. And then we'll put the rest in here because there is a lot of challenges to do with the map. And I feel like at some point I may need these items. Whoop! Bit of a frame drop there. Uh, commercial decrease. Ah, oh, advisor. I was like, what? Why is it telling me that? I thought I had done something wrong. Alright, so it's looking to be... Oh no, it's nowhere near the new month. Alright, um, back to the main menu. Make speed up the game because we need to increase our gameplay time. Alright, now I'm really confused with how I want it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, all right, so five by five. I should have 24 uh, residential and industry areas. Wait, is it industry? No, it's commercial. Yeah, and then uh, around the outside of the map, I should also have a fair few industrial. And then the other thing I can do is go and get grants and upgrade them all. Like. I didn't really know how the grants work, and now I'm really happy about it because anything that's beside something that deducts, I don't actually need that. So I think what we'll do is we'll have the minimal parks to do the achievements or the... What are these called again? I think they're called... um, Yeah, Great Works Project. Yeah. Um, we want to do all of them, but we also... I wonder if... Uh, oh, all right. So if I put a tax grant thing in here, I can actually get a... Uh, not a better power plant, but I think it changes the design. I don't know if that will make me more money. What is this? That was, that was a bit weird looking. All right, how much money do we have? We have 200k, so I think what we're going to do is spend that on commercial area. Because that's what, that's what we needed, yeah? I wasn't actually looking at that then. Um, commercial plot. Commercial plot. Commercial plot. I'm just going to keep saying it every time I get it. Um, and I suppose we will put it here beside this park. I feel like that will give us the greatest benefit. Oh, no, I can't. Ah, oh. oh, all right. So I suppose we'll start over here, right beside this horrid um, power plant that's going to deduct our score. But like I said, we can get it up, so that's all good. The only issue is if I get, if I start upgrading things, they might not make me enough money before like uh, a disaster happens. Because I have actually been very fortunate not to get. A disaster yet I don't think at all or I may have got one that's so small I didn't even really notice um, I kind of want to demolish the one in the middle which is uh, what was it T one two three one two three this one here and put the power plant there so I think that is what we'll save for but I really don't want to speed up my time too much because I don't want to be putting too much, not pressure on the game, it's more, um, oh, I've, see, I've started, I'm starting to go over buttons again. Oh, no, I nearly did. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, see, I've, done, I've got all these, yeah. I, I want to find the little, like, quest mission things. Let's go into this maze. Actually, let's just jump up onto it, because I don't really want to go through it. I just want to jump up onto it. So, is there anything secretive in here that I could use... Don't think I can enchant or anything. Um, that's a park, if you didn't know. Uh, what's this one? Oh, oh, maybe this? Oh, no, this is uh, the parkour thing, I think. No, don't jump. It's not worth it. And then we go up this way. And, oh, parkour. Hardcore. Parkour. Oh, yeah, we, we've bumped into this issue, haven't we? Kind of forgot. All right, and we jump down here. And then that was a horrible bounce. Alright, so I suppose what I am going to do is... What's our income per month? 250k. Uh, how much money do we have at the moment? 126k. Let's go and buy some industrial areas. Even though I do have one more commercial zoning. And we'll place these. We'll use all of our money. And then what I think I'm going to do... Oh, by the way, we're on year one now. Um, is I'm just going to wait, you know. And... Oh, is that... Oh, see, I'm going to downgrade that area. 
That area is already one. It's gonna go down real low. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I should be starting to spend my money on grants instead of um, like all this random other stuff, because like that's gonna affect that area. That area might like go downhill. Uh, I could use this corner, I think. Yeah, so if we put one here, and then we put one above that in the corner, which do we have the money for? We do not, damn it. <laughs> um, all right, let's go over here. And I've learned a lot more about the game, which I'm pretty happy with, but I'm just a tad worried that I may or may not be doing this correctly. All right, let's see. That area was upgraded. We have another industrial zone. It doesn't have a point, but I don't know how much that matters. Now what we're gonna do is teleport back to our town hall and I am going to speed up time and if anything happens I'll put it on turtle and then we'll go and assess the situation but I'll be back in hmm maybe four months so we have like a grand well a billion is that a billion no they're okay so a million okay guys so one like month passed and like two seconds later a uh, volcano has appeared and that's actually going to do a lot of damage luckily we do have a bit of money to repair uh let's go look at the volcano there it is over there just shrugging everything oh you know that's actually kind of fun it's right where we um wanted to put the thing i built whoa Oh, wow, because I've got my areas affecting each other so much. That actually affected quite a fair bit. All right, so what we want to do is go and get a bulldoze, and we'll bulldoze the volcano. And then we want to... Uh, wait. Oh, the volcano gets rid of itself? Oh, I didn't know that. All right, so we don't need the bulldoze. Uh, for now, at least. Let's put it over in this corner. And all right, let's check out our map. So... We still have our power plants from the look of it. Uh, wait, wait, where's our power plant? There's a power plant, there's a power plant, and there's a power plant. See, we've got three already, and they're not placed very well. So, I think... Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is go and buy the cheapest... We need a residential area, apparently, because our score for residential is really low. But it's also really low for commercial, so let's go and buy a commercial zone and a residential zone and we'll go and place these in the empty spaces but not in the middle one so we can place one here and let's go back to our map and we can place one in this corner and then where this uh this area is that's where we'll play place our uh what's it called power plant and then that will allow us to do the whole map power plant we'll unlock all of that we've already got one in position so that's cool Standing right in the danger zones, aren't I, guys? Um, alright, let's see what else we have. Did those areas get destroyed too? There's no power there in the first place, so I don't know how. Um, alright, let's go, let's see what we need. We need residential, so let's go and put residential in up here. Yeah, up here where this area has been destroyed. There we go. Shouldn't be on this plot, it's actually gonna change in a sec, there we go. Um, now there's one more to do, oh, and there's one there, wow, volcanoes do a fair bit, don't they guys? Um, so there we go, they're a bit more ramped up, we do need more residential apparently, so let's go residential, and one more residential, and we will go put them in the, I I'm happy we got a disaster, you know, it has to happen at some point, so it's happened, we'll, we'll power through it. Alright, this is where we're going to put another residential area, like so, and then where's the last one going to go? Is it this one? Oh wow, it's, yeah, it's this one. Alright, so let's put that here too. I like how the ground kind of stays. I don't think it's meant to do that, but I, I'm not quite sure. It does, you can still see that the bulldoze thing is placed there nicely. Alright, there we go. So, everything seems to be working together, apart from that apparently. Uh, but I think at the end of the month, because this is touching that and that's touching that, this will recalculate because obviously it seems to be glitched at the moment. Uh, we're going to get a power plant here. Let's see. What's our money? 250k. So on the next month, we should be able to put a power plant there. So let's go to our house area. Or not the, the town hall. There we go. Our fairyland. Teleport. 
speed up time which will go to here and then we will we'll, we'll see what our income and all that is because it's definitely going to decline i think it'll be maybe 200k now because we did have all of them working together quite amazingly like you saw it, it broke the game that's how well they were working together all right and back to turtle so income per month 270 we get an extra 70k than i expected so that's good and let's go back to the Oh, it's so good that our uh, disaster our disaster finally happened. You know, it's it needed to happen because it was scaring the crap out of me. Because I knew it would happen, and it could have been like eight at once. But we got a volcano. Volcano isn't too bad. I don't think I like the creeper. Is probably the worst one in my opinion. All right, let's put that there. And you'll see, guys. Now look how much more power. Oh no, though. That way. Hmm. I don't feel like it's powering enough. Is it gonna? All right, so I have there and there. If I put one there and there, and then one there. See, it's the same same layout. I just don't know how happy I am with it. That will power the whole map. Just the inner parts are gonna be so much more touched by uh, power plants than I would have originally liked. Let's see. Hmm. If I put one there, one there, one there, and one there. Oh, alright. So I'll put one in each corner, and then I'll take out the middle one. And if any of them break, I can put the middle one back, I suppose. Because the thing is, if any of them break, they're gonna un they rely on the middle one to stay powered, and that's my issue, guys, if you don't quite know what I mean. But that's where we're going to leave off this episode, guys. Me doing some calculations. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this and just do some thinking. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy it enough, feel free to leave a like and a comment. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. And have a wonderful day, guys. Bye!